Well, I kind of knew this was going to happen. So I tried to rush out a launch config. Uh, well, two-part, just to sort of get one out there right away. But also, uh, I'm going to be heading out of town for work for a couple of months. So I actually should be packing right now. Um, <laughs> but, you know, priorities. I got I to gotta do Steam Controller stuff. But no, I was playing over the weekend. I made some changes. I wanted to share this updated config, get this out there, cover some issues I was having with the other one, and just have at it. So, differences. This this has a menu mouse action set. Made things a little easier in the menus and freed up the bumpers for gameplay because I'm using dual stage triggers, so I don't need the bumpers. Because of that, I made the bumper, right bumper, is Y button which gives me those gyro flicks. So if you had watched that launch stream, I had that on a long press in the middle of right pad, which works, but what I noticed over the weekend is as I was playing the game on my TV, if I'm not at my desk and my hands were slightly tilted, it was activating that D-pad even when I was trying to just target lock. So, that is the reason why I moved it to the bumper. But it still feels totally fine. You know, you have your gyro flicks. So I'm running, hold bumper. Alright, so that, that's probably the most substantial change, like, mechanically of this. Is that I wanted to, I ditched that long press just because it was creating some other issues. Now the other thing is I have... You know, you have left and right, cycle through, hold, two-handed. So go to the left, hold, two-handed. Like, you can cycle left and right, and then hold on either gives you your two-handed option. Because I really didn't like the default, which was Y button plus LB and RB. That I, I didn't like that. So I just made it a hold on the d-pad. Now the limitation with that is that you can't do that while you're sprinting and I have a specific reason for that. That was so you could switch because the only way to maintain it would be I would have to cancel the sprint layer so you could switch like that but I wanted to keep it here, so this is just a normal D-pad on the sprint layer. So you can cycle through your weapons, but maintain your sprint for mounted combat. So that's just something to be aware of, that if you want to switch to your two-hand, stop sprinting. Just let off the sprint. I mean, it doesn't matter when you're on combat. <laughs> you know, just hop off. I guess I should just show it while, like, so here, while I'm sprinting. I can't make it two-handed. Stop sprinting, then hold. Which is another change. I moved... Uh, I went back to left bumper for roll. It just... I was trying something different. I've been using left pad click for dodge in some first person games, like a couple of other games, but in this one, I'm going back to that grip. So left pad click, crouch, left pad outer edge, sprint. To cancel the sprint, I can click uh, left grip and then click again to roll, which is just a maddening thing with the game that they won't separate sprint from roll okay so that's that now the other change would be left bumper this is just a shortcut to the menu and while you're in here this is a mouse action layer with all all the buttons are the equivalents of what you're seeing here so like left pad i think that's like F or something, I can't remember, but it, these are all keyboard.
commands. But it should copy everything. Um, right pad, click, up and down is zoom. I did not go with mouse always on, so that's just something to be aware of. That if the game senses, like if I just hold the mouse cursor, just let go. If that mouse cursor goes away, the config now just switched over back to my analog controls. I move, now I can t it's back into my mouse and keyboard. The menu mouse action set, so just be aware of that. I mean, I like having the mouse menu action set. But it can sometimes be a little fussy, especially with this game. Which is why I put in the failsafe here. Or not really a failsafe, sort of a panic room button. <laughs> Left stick click. That's just to unload this layer manually if it gets stuck. Because that is not a problem with my config. I have noticed in this game, even if it's full screen, and if you have a multi-monitor setup, your mouse cursor can go off to the other side. And it seems like if it does that, that messes up with the game's detection of the mouse cursor to switch our set here in Steam Input. So if you happen to be stuck, you'll know because it won't be joystick move over here. It's a WASD keypad or direction pad. Yeah, so you'll know that you're in the wrong layer. You could just click that the left stick in and you'll unload it. But another bonus is, like, I found, you know, with the mouse, I could just quickly woo, gyro mouse over here. You know, it just, it makes it a little bit easier for the, uh, for the menus. The only thing that does drive me a little nuts is that it, the cursor won't control that cursor, so you still have to use... WASD for that. So you'll be able to find this up in community configs. Uh, it's not uploaded right now, but it will be. But just so you can see, Guided by Grace, Elden Ring, Dual Trackpad, that will be the most current version of what I have with some revisions to my other one, which was on its third revision from that stream. So, I mean... That's the process. Just iterate, play it, iterate, test, figure out what works, and then eventually have a config and be able to play the game. Uh, one other thing. Scatterbrained as I'm thinking about this and trying to think in my head of all the stuff I gotta be packing up <laughs> for my work trip. This is just one weird little game thing, is that... What is it? When you talk to somebody, to it pulls something. up the mouse cursor, and you seem unable to look around. I'm gonna guess that that'll be patched. That is just a game limitation. That has to be an oversight. Yeah, there's like, I can't figure out a way to move the camera around with mouse and keyboard. Some fairly major changes. You got the gyro flicks on the bumper holds to do your two-hand which that I, I'm liking that down is still you know cycle hold to use so yeah that's that I'm I'm digging the game but I'm probably not really gonna have time to play it because like I said I'll be out of town so just wanted to try to get this out there before I head out so yeah, that is all I got, and I will see you around. Okay, seriously, I need to stop playing games and start packing.